Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Arpita Karwa and today in this video, I'm going to talk about a topic which is frequently asked in UGC Net Paper 1 and I'm going to also solve some previous year questions on this topic towards the end of the video. So make sure you watch this video till the very end. So the topic that we are going to discuss today is levels of teaching. It is very, very important uh, topic if you are preparing for unit 1 teaching aptitude. Now you see... Teaching is a very, very complex phenomena. It is not just about a teacher sitting in a classroom saying, Ki chalo bachcho, aaj hum ye This is not how teaching essentially works. Teaching ke bahut sare stages hai. So it has various stages that students progress through as they learn new concepts and new skills. And these stages will help the teachers or the educators understand how students engage with the material. Okay. So this is what we are going to look in detail in today's video because this is essentially the pillar of levels of teaching okay now one thing that you need to know before we dive into the topic is that who coined the term levels of teaching because this is asked in net exam so the term was first introduced by morris l biggie in 1976 and guess what that concept which was given in 1976 is still relevant today as it was relevant back then so you can understand how crucial it is to understand a topic like that. Usse mera kya fayda hua? Mujhe kya mila? Batao. Usse mera kya fayda? Mujhe kya mil raha hai? So, ruko jara. Sabar karo. So, without any further delay, let's jump right into the topic. Okay, friends. So, now let's look at the three levels of teaching. And uske liye, I'm going to give you a very simple example. Tino levels jo hote hai, wo har student ki life mein paai jate hai. जब आप किंडरगार्डन में होते हो बहुत छोटे होते हो 3 4 साल की एज होती है तब आपको जिस तरीके से पढ़ाया जाता है दैट इज मेमोरी लेवल उसके बाद जब आप स्कूल में जाते हो एंड पूरे स्कूल के ड्यूरेशन में आपको जैसे पढ़ाया जाता है दैट इज अंडरस्टैंडिंग लेवल एंड फाइनली वी व्हेन यू स्टेप इनटू कॉलेज स्पेशली एमबीए अगर आपने एमबीए प्रोग्राम किया है सो देन वहां पे आपको जैसे पढ़ाया जाता है दैट इज द रिफ्लेक्टिव और द हाईएस्ट लेवल ऑफ लर्निंग ठीक है अगर आपको ये तीनों school ke period college ka period yaad hai so it becomes very easy for you to correlate and understand ki kis level mein kis type se padhaya jata hai another interesting thing that i would want to share here is that ye jo teeno levels hai ye ek ek karke padhaye jate hai kabhi bhi aisa nahi hota ki directly kisi student ko reflective level teaching de diya jayega bina usko memory level and understanding level diye gaye bina so it is like a progression step by step in levels pe aap ek ek karke jate chaliye so ab hum shuru karte hain hamara discussion on the first level which is the memory level now as i told you that memory level is how you were taught by the teachers during the kindergarten period where you would ask to memorize things jaise english alphabets your teacher used to tell you ki a ke baad b aayega b ke baad c aayega you used to memorize the sequence of english alphabet hindi alphabet you were memorizing numbers 1 2 3 4 is tarah se ya fir you were memorizing the multiplication tables 2 1 0 2 2 2 2 0 4 okay so this is how you were memorizing things during the first level that is the memory level of teaching now let us look at some features of memory level of teaching number one as i said before this level is about memorizing or ratta lagana rote learning okay aapne sirf memorize kiya hai samjha kuch bhi nahi hai the concept was given by john h herbert who was a famous german philosopher and a very very great psychologist now under this level the focus is on memorization and rote learning and because of this this level is considered the lowest level of teaching because it's not just ratwa rahe hai aapke dimag ki zyada growth nahi ho rahi hai okay under this level there is no engagement happening between teachers and students teachers are just giving out factual information and students are just memorizing it and this is the reason why this particular level is known as the thoughtless teaching aapko bina samjhe aap padha rahe ho thoughtless thought ka zyada istemal nahi kar rahe ho okay because nothing is happening at the analytical level and that's why it is known as thoughtless teaching now if i have to give you a very good example of this particular uh, level of teaching then i would give the example of chatur ramalingam from three idiots remember that speech that he gave on teachers day amir khan changed a few words in the speech and yet he vomited the entire speech on the 
uh, in the auditorium on the stage and he could not understand ki koi word change hone se us puri speech ka matlab change ho gaya because he just memorized it as it is okay so this is how at memory level of teaching things happen now imagine that if i give you an assignment and i ask you to memorize the entire periodic table of science for your viva so what you will do you will first learn the periodic table then you will make sure that you have retained it well so you will keep on revising it as in you will verbally speak ki acha iske baad ye aata hai iske baad ye aata hai or you will keep on practicing it by writing it down again and again and then finally on the day of the viva when i will ask you to tell me the periodic table you are going to reproduce the material up as it is mujhe bol ke suna doge puri periodic table so isse hame kya pata chalta hai is example se that there are three aspects of memory level of teaching the first is memorizing the material second is retaining the material and then we have reproducing the material okay now under this level teachers are generally using tools like charts or images or audio visual aids so if you have seen kindergarten mein jo animals yaad karwaye jate hain ya fir alphabets yaad karaye jate hain to there are a lot of charts which are pasted in the room and teachers on charts ke through students ko yaad karati hai cheeze right and as we can see that is pure level mein the role of the teacher is more dominant student is just absorbing the information major kaam kaun kar raha hai teacher okay now one more thing before we move ahead to the next level i have created a very special pdf that summarizes this entire video and provides you exam ready notes so just drop a message on the whatsapp number that you can see on screen or click on the whatsapp link that is given in the description box and my team is going to send that handy pdf to you okay okay now so let us move on to the second level of teaching which is understanding level now what happens in understanding level just like we level up in games similarly we also level up in teaching when a student is taught at the kindergarten level so he has memorized some basic things that he would be requiring uh, in the later stages of learning so now after that rote learning has ended he steps into a school jahan pe the next level of teaching happens which is the understanding level and under this level the learners they go beyond memorizing and they try to grasp the meaning of things and concepts let me give you an example so in the memory level of teaching we discussed how a, a child would memorize alphabets when they are in kindergarten now when they come to secondary or higher classes they start understanding what they are being taught for example kids will start to understand how to form sentences by using these alphabets or how grammar works another example is how your mother would learn to cook something delicious by watching youtube videos so what she is doing she is watching a video she is trying to understand ki wo kaise bana rahe hain and then she tries to replicate it in her own kitchen now the entire focus as you can see in the understanding level is understanding the material okay let us look at some features of this level the first important thing that you should know about this level is that who gave the concept so the concept was given by henry clinton morrison he was a very famous professor he gave this concept under this level student participation is encouraged so agar aapko yaad ho that mohabbat ka dialogue parampara pratishtha anushasan so agar aapko lagta hai ki ek aisa teaching environment jahan pe teacher sab bata raha hai and student silently sun rahe that is not how learning happens at the understanding level europe students participation is encouraged they are encouraged to discuss concepts in class to ask questions to elaborate the answers in their own words okay now because the students are so involved like as in well as teachers i would say both of them play an equal role in the classroom and hence this level is called the thoughtful level of teaching jaise humne dekha tha memory level ko bola jata hai thoughtless aapko dimag nahi chalana hai but yahan pe aap dimag chala rahe ho because you are understanding the material isliye ise bola jata hai thoughtful teaching now friends under this level the teacher tries to teach with a lot of examples for example in a chemistry class rather than just making you memorize the formula the teacher will actually demonstrate the experiment so that you can understand the relationship between things now teaching aids that are used in this particular level is uh, things like discussion debates then giving a lot of real life examples in fact teachers does a lot of effort just so that the students 
इन क्लास एंगेज एंड अंडरस्टैंड द टॉपिक वेल जैसे अगर आप अभी इस वीडियो पर देखेंगे सो वट आई एम ट्राइंग टू डू इज दैट आई एम गिविंग यू लॉर्ड ऑफ एग्जाम्पल सो दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट ओके सो देर आर लॉर्ड ऑफ अदर थिंग्स रिलेटेड टू अंडरस्टैंडिंग लेवल ऑफ टीचिंग लाइक ऑब्जेक्टिव क्या है टेक्निक्स क्या है वट आर द इवेल्युएशन मेथड्स रिलेटेड टू दीज लेवल्स ऑफ टीचिंग एंड ऑल ऑफ दिस वी हैव कवर्ड इन डिटेल इन आर पेपर वन बुक बाई यूजिंग लॉर्ड ऑफ रियल लाइफ एग्जाम्पल्स इमेजेस डायग्राम्स एंड टेबल्स टू इंश्योर दैट यू अंडरस्टैंड इट इन अ वेरी वेरी नाइस मैनर सो यू नो यू कैन चेक आउट आर बुक फॉर दैट now we move on to the third level of teaching so the third level of teaching is the reflective level now this is the boss level of teaching because your students aren't just learning they are actually applying what they have learned in real life scenarios so this type of teaching generally happens at college level take an example let's say mba course okay so mba students ko kya kiya jata hai they are exposed to live projects case studies internships and in all these situations they are actually applying their classroom knowledge to solve some real life or real world problems okay this is what reflective learning is all about let's look at some of the features number one you need to remember this level was given by hunt number two under this level students use their critical thinking analysis and they apply the knowledge to real life problems okay now since the students here learn to use their critical thinking abilities this is the most thoughtful level of teaching or the upper thoughtful level of teaching now here teachers generally they are taking a back seat and the role of students is more dominant because students are engaging with things right so teaching aids ki agar hum baat karte hai at this level so we have case studies internships live projects in india agar hum baat kare to hamara education system aisa hai ki school level pe most of the time ये वाला लर्निंग स्टाइल नहीं देखा जाता है दिस इज जनरली सीन इन एम बी ए कोर्सेज एम बी ए प्रोग्राम्स नाउ अपार्ट फ्रॉम ऑल द टॉपिक्स दैट वी हैव डिस्कस टू दे देर आर सम अदर इंपॉर्टेंट वन लाइक मेटा कॉग्निशन नाउ मेटा कॉग्निशन इज अ टॉपिक विच इज कनेक्टेड टू रिफ्लेक्टिव लेवल एंड दिस टॉपिक फ्रीक्वेंटली अपियर्स इन यू जी सी नेट पेपर वन यू विल फाइंड डिटेल्ड एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ दैट टॉपिक इन आर बुक यू जी सी नेट पेपर वन बुक विच इज also a book that comes with 100 plus video lectures and unit wise solved pyqs so make sure that you study what is metacognition before you sit for the exam so now let us quickly summarize what we have studied in today's mastigi patshala so we understood that learning happens at three levels at the bottom we have the memory level of teaching this happens generally when kids are very very small and they are in kindergarten so is time pe the learning happens which is least thoughtful and that focuses on ratta lagana or rote learning once the student goes through this level of teaching he moves to the next level which is the understanding level of teaching which happens generally at the school level jahan pe the focus is on giving a lot of examples and this is known as the thoughtful level your students gain actual understanding of different concepts and finally after you move out of the school you go to college you move to the next level of learning that is the reflective level of teaching now in this particular level we find that students are using their critical thinking and analytical skills and they are applying their existing knowledge to solve some real life problem and therefore this is the most thoughtful level okay uh, so now uh i am moving to the next important section wherein we are going to look at some previous year questions on this particular topic and we are going to test whether we have understood the concepts clearly but before that just a small disclaimer that we have a lot of other videos on topics like these where we uh, explain important concepts of ugc net paper 1 in just 15 minutes so hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so that the next time i upload any video you are notified and don't forget to check out the playlist section where we have organized unit wise playlist for ugc net paper 1 so now let us look at some previous year questions that have been asked from this particular topic the first question is right there in front of your screen this is a very simple question in memory level we know that the focus is only on rote learning then we have the understanding level where the focus is on establishing relationship and learning with examples and finally we have reflective learning jahan pe the focus is on critical thinking analytical skills and problem solving hence the correct answer for this question is reflective level 
Now we move on to the next question. This is a very very simple question. It is just asking you that in me se kaun sa ek prescribed level of teaching nahi hai. Very very easy question. We have read about the three levels: memory, understanding, and reflective. Differentiating level is not a level of teaching, and hence the correct option is differentiating. Now, if you are looking for more PYQs on this topic, you can refer to the Unit Ten questions in our UGC Net Paper One book that provides you with three thousand plus unit wise solved questions. Alternatively, if you are looking for free questions, you can go to my website arpita karwa dot com where you will find previous year questions year wise available for you to download it free of cost. Okay, now before you close this video, just a quick question for you. What level of teaching do you think this video falls under? Is it memory, understanding, or something else? Drop your answers in the comment section below. That's it from my side for this video lecture. I'll meet you very soon in the next video lecture. Till the time we meet next. Happy learning. Keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarva.com.